Okay, this tutorial is how to make a completely morphable mouth. I'm going to go really fast, but I'll try and explain as I go. I'm going to make a circle without the autofill on. Make another circle inside. Hit A to add new points. And I'm going to hit U because I want to uh, validate these shapes. This is going to be the upper lip, bottom lip. And then I'm also going to hit U and validate the middle of the mouth, but I'm going to make it black. Hit the space bar. And now I'm going to reshape the mouth. Add, uh, hit A to add a couple more points. And I'm going to use hit C to change the curve of the lines. Uh, C. Um, add another point there. See if that gives me a little more control. Let's bring the mouth shape in a little bit. I'm going to hit um, hide edges just for the uh, sides so you don't see those. Um, C. Let's add some more points to make it look more like a lip. Hit C to change the curve here. Bring that in. Bring the lip down. Hit A to add a couple more points. C to change the curve. It's looking funky, but it's looking more like a mouth at least. Uh, let's keep playing with it. Okay, now I'm going to make some more shapes. I'm going to make a tongue. So with the uh, circle selected, oh, autofill. Make a tongue, and I just validated the shape. Now I'm going to make teeth with uh, rectangles. Bottom set, top set, hit U, validate. You validate. I'm going to move them over the mouth and I'm going to hit Q. Um, that's to, I think, select shape. Yeah. Q. And then I'm hitting the arrow keys up until the lips overlap the uh, teeth and the um, tongue. Okay. Hit T so I can move the shapes around a little bit, get them adjusted. Hit S to scale the tongue down a bit. And let me kind of fine tune these teeth. I'm going to uh, probably add some more points just to get them to fit right. Maybe one in the middle. Curve the uh, teeth a little bit. And. That. So we have some teeth. And the bottom set of teeth usually actually, um, I'll add one more point and bend it downward a little bit just so they fit when we um, move the mouth around. It's way too curved. So, to kind of get that looking better, just fine tuning. Okay. Mm, that looks pretty good. It's, that looks good. Okay, so uh, last thing I'm going to do in this video is hit uh, G, and I'm going to select all of these points on the bottom, and I'm going to create a group called bottom jaw. Create. Then I'm going to do the same for the top. Call it top jaw. Create. And I will show you how to make um, different mouth shapes in the next video.